So you've probably heard of these ergo prism loops from Lumident. Let's find out what these loops are like. Welcome back. It is great to see everybody again. Thank you so much for all the likes, subscribes, comments, especially. I can't wait to share some of the things that I have planned for this channel over the next couple months. But for right now, I wanted to get a quick video out because I got my hands on a set of these ergo prisms from Lumident and I could not be more excited. So if you haven't been following along, these loops are a completely new concept in dental magnification. The first time I saw these, I was really intrigued. So with a conventional loop, you have what's called a declination angle. And if you look at different manufacturers, that's something that a lot of them talk about. The angle that the telescope points down so that you don't have to strain your neck. Instead of straining your neck, your eye is looking down. The problem with a conventional declination angle is, is really two things. Number one, as you tip those telescopes down and force your eyes to look down, you're going to get a little bit of eye strain. The other problem is that no matter how steep that declination angle is, you're always going to have to tilt your head down a little bit. There's never really been an option to have a straight back and neck and do dental work unless you wanna work with a microscope. When I saw these loops for the first time, this concept of a deflection loop, which is what Lumident calls these, I was really intrigued and I actually reached out to Lumident. I thought it was a long shot, but they actually got back to me and I could not be more excited to share this with you guys. I'm gonna be completely honest about these through this whole thing. This is not a commercial. Lumident's not paying me to say anything. They did send me these loops to review, but other than that, I have no financial interest in giving these a good review, anything like that. These are 100% my ideas and actually Actually, Lumident made it very clear. They wanted me to give an honest assessment of these, stuff that I liked and stuff that maybe I think could be a little bit better. That's what I'm gonna do, so let's dive into it. The first thing that struck me about these loops was how well they are built. The fit process was really cool. It's nice because Lumident sends you, in my case, I had three frames to choose from, the Stellar, the Infinity, and the Classic. So you get a chance to hold these frames, put them on your face, look in the mirror, see how they fit, see how they feel. And I went with the Classic. It's an aluminum frame, very lightweight. I have to be honest, when I chose the frames, I was a little bit skeptical of how they would hold telescopes. I have to say, when I took these loops out of the case, I was incredibly impressed by the build quality. I would honestly liken it to something like a Ferrari. So even though it's lightweight and streamlined, it's, it's very solid, very well built, and you can kind of just feel that precision mechanical element to the whole design, which I really appreciated. And one of the reasons that's been growing on me is how lightweight these are. And like I said, my designs for vision, they weigh a quarter of a pound, and that's not even including the light. Whereas these ergo prisms weigh significantly less. And if you want them even lighter, you can actually get a lighter frame than this. One of the other things that I noticed right away, if you look at a conventional loop, the telescope sits fairly low in the glass. And that makes sense because it's away from your face a little bit and you have to look down through that declination angle. Whereas with the ergo prism, the telescope is sort of right in the middle of the lens, right where your eye would normally ergonomically look. And so initially I knew that this would be good ergonomically for my back, but I never really appreciated the ergonomics of not having eye strain. I know I'm making this sound like a commercial just because I'm mentioning all the positives first. Now there are some things about these loops that I don't know if I'd call them negatives yet, but it's definitely something that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, at least for me. Number one, like I said, my designs for vision come in like 112 different sizes. And for somebody like me, I've, I've got a big head and it's kind of hard to find frames that fit. There really aren't very many options that I like. And so with designs for vision, it was great because you know 112 different sizes, these fit essentially perfectly. And I don't wanna say the ergo prisms don't fit as well, I don't think that's fair, but in terms of fit, they're just, there are only a handful of options. Now to Lumident's credit, and I think this is really cool, these frames are designed to be modified and I have no doubt that I'm going to do that. And even without customization, for me, they're about 95% there, which is, which is pretty impressive. So again, not a knock on these at all, but if you want a very custom fit, they will tell you that you do have to kind of modify them a little bit yourself to get there. The second thing right away is that I noticed the field of view is, is a little bit smaller. Now, these extended field designs for vision have a huge field of view, but like I said, you pay for that with weight. And part of the benefit of these ergo prisms is not only the ergonomics, they're also very light. The trade-off is that the field of view is going to be a little bit less, at least for me. I know that it's adequate from you know playing around with these, but 
it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to. And so I'll report back in the next video what that's like, what that process is going to be. I am looking forward to having less weight on my face. I've got to be honest with my designs for vision. I should shoot a picture sometime, but I have this like red mark on my nose at the end of the day. And I've actually had to take them off from time to time because they are so heavy. So again, with the field of view, I'm going to have to get used to that a little bit, but not necessarily a negative. I'm going to let you know how that goes. Another big point, and to Lumiden's credit, this isn't really a negative. They say this right on their website. But when you compare the magnification of the ergo prisms to the magnification of a conventional loop, it's not apples to apples. The reason is when you sit up a little bit with a good posture, you're going to be farther away from whatever you're working on. And so Lumident will say that, like if you're used to working in a three and a half magnification, you should get the 4.3 ergo prisms because it's going to be similar. And I can say that from experience for sure. Like my extended field 4.5s versus these ergo prism 5.0s, they seem pretty evenly matched. If anything, my 4.5s might seem a little bit more zoomed in than these 5s, but some of that could be just the field of view, something that I'm just going to have to get used to. So that's really it. I don't have anything negative to say right away just because I haven't had a chance to work in them clinically for a while and I haven't had a chance to really give them a fair shot. I expect that it's going to be a, a fair learning curve, not necessarily for the posture, but more like when I... If you saw me work, you'd probably be embarrassed. I'd be embarrassed because I cheat a lot with my posture. I mean, I'll do, even today, I'm doing a crown. I'll I'll duck down just to see things a little bit closer. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with these. Look forward to that in the next video. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in more detail when I have a little bit more experience with it. I will say one of my favorite features with this, and I didn't even know this was possible to do in a loop, is the adjustable working distance. And if you saw my other video on loops, my designs for vision 4.5s, I had to send them back twice to get the working distance dialed in. And that was kind of a pain. So I got my loops, working distance was off. I got them again. It was still off. They had to adjust it a second time. So I was without my loops for like, you know, four or six weeks, something like that. And with these, adjusting the working distance is just a matter of turning the little barrel on the end of the telescope. It's, it's really simple. Now, that's not a feature that is in all of the Ergo Prism loops. I think it's exclusive to these 5.0s right now. But if you are leaning toward getting this loop, I would encourage you to go a little bit higher in the magnification because you probably won't be tempted to come down. And if anything, you don't want to get a loop and then find out later that you wish you would have gone up a little bit. I'm going to end the video with this. I thought this was really telling. So this is the end of a long workday. It is not flattering to me at all. And you can see right away. I mean, it, it's a picture's worth a thousand words type thing. I thought in the designs for vision picture that I had as, as good of a posture as I could have with those loops. And so I'm not trying to make myself look bad here. The ergo prisms, honestly, I'm upright. And looking at this, if I'm being critical, I could probably correct my posture even a little bit more. So my neck angle is good. I, I should probably sit up a little bit straighter and have my shoulders back a little bit. But these loops will allow me to kind of work on that. And to be honest, it gets a little bit philosophical, but if you follow my other videos, I, I love dentistry. I think it's a great career, but it can take a lot out of you. And I know going into work, it, it hurts my posture. And so I'm doing, you know, stretches and working out and yoga because I know that when I go into work, I'm going to cash in on some of that and, and damage my posture. It's just something that goes along with dentistry. The idea of having a loop like this that allows me to, you know, start the day with a workout, work all day with an upright posture, never have to go into that hunchback mode, that that really means a lot to me because everybody, I think, could have better posture. If you've ever seen yourself like a side view of yourself working on a computer, at least for me, it's like, wow, I did not know I lived my life that hunched over. So again, this is just a quick first impression video of these. And one of the reasons I wanted to do that is to give you guys a chance to leave in the comments any questions that you have about these, because I'm going to do at least one more video and I may do more if I get a lot more questions with this. I am super excited to try these every time I pick them up. It's like, it's kind of that feeling when you're handling like a nice precision watch or something like that. I'm really looking forward to this. The next video I upload will be about these loops and it's gonna be a little more in-depth review with some clinical experience. And please, like I said, leave down in the comments any questions you have and I will see you very soon.